Everybody, welcome back. I'm Northern Lion. I'm a little mad about the way that both of those Onan streak attempts worked. We're on the Guardian. Oh, this, I remember this. It's Guardian Spear, and then XR07 PNHF. Oh, dude, I totally, totally remember this because it's nonsense. <laughs> oh, no. So the Guardian, we have to protect at all times. Which, for a lot of enemies, is gonna be completely okay. But for some enemies, is gonna be quite literally nearly impossible. Enemies that rush us down, enemies that shoot beams, or enemies that drop things from the ceiling, uh, are more or less gonna be a crapshoot to see if we have basically any chance... Oh, well, I mean, what can I do there? Uh, to see if we have any chance to escape their clutches. Uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up too high. But, honestly, after the last run that we just did, that Onan Streak one, uh, not the one where I ruined it, because that one, you know, I, I take responsibility for going to boss rush there, uh, and then losing my ability to teleport, which may, we might have lost anyway, but certainly that was not the right way to handle it, to put it succinctly. That was very, very close. Actually, an orbital might help us out quite a lot here, because we're immune to damage. Uh, if we can just walk into enemies that are trying to walk into, um... Isaac's heart, we might be in a much better position. It wouldn't uh, hurt too much if you chose to follow me. I know that, like, I'm your guardian. I, I suppose the reality of the situation is that I should be following you, but. I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to kind of skirt around those requirements at the present moment. You're annoying me a great deal in your inability. Even if you just stood at the entrance to the room, I'd, I'd have a better chance to protect you, I think. Just try not to wander into enemies. That's like, you know, step number one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna buy the Spirit Heart to give us a great deal with the Devil, plus, like, just survival chance. Yeah, that's right, just keep him... Just keep him back! Hold me back! We got him. I think we have no item rooms on this one. Uh, we could have used... A nickel there to give us a better chance of getting... <sighs> yeah, we got it. These these are both pretty big right here. We could have used a nickel there for a better chance of getting... Uh, Sackboy, which I think could be a very, very meaningful pickup for us. But these are actually good gets right now. Guppy's Head gives us more Herdin Power, and Lord knows we need it. Because that'll give us uh, the ability to kill enemies before they can even get to... The thing that we're trying to guard here. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that bomb. Uh, the other thing is that the, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, Guppy's Head is the other one. Dark Bomb is the, is the one that we got. Um, that's also going to be very meaningful, especially if we can get our luck up there. Turning Red Hearts into Spirit Hearts is a good modicum of protection for ourselves, and I got high hopes that that'll lead to success in the, in the short term, and hopefully the long term as well. We got to 15 cents exactly, bar none. 20 cents now. Um... So we should buy Sack Boy. Comes with a free sack, which is a five cent value at the very least. On average, at least. Give us a bomb, six flies. I'll check the card. The card is Temperance. I, I think we might be able to play that. Dang. I really, really thought uh, we would just be able to play Temperance forever because we have technically Isaac's heart, but apparently not. Dark bomb. You got that one. Okay. We're still kind of living on the edge like an Aerosmith song here, but I think we got a good foundation. I've lost uh, Guardian Runs in the past because I remember the specific examples very, uh, very, very well, unfortunately. Because they were particularly noteworthy. Um, for a, I mean, what can you do about that, basically? When you have uh, the mom fight, mom just steps on the Guardian. So you're just screwed in that case. Thank you for the extra spirit heart and the teleport card as well. So that confirms, if we weren't confirming it already, that there are no uh, there are no item rooms on this run. Because we did not teleport to an item room. I think we're just going to try to, you know, the sun card's great, but I think we're mostly trying to just buy spirit hearts, keep ourselves in the game here. And uh, really trying to run down the clock on this one. I think we've got a great situation. All we need to do is... Uh, Make sure that we don't ruin this great situation by acting needlessly aggressively, throwing HP away for no reason. In many ways, this kind of feels like the perfect run for me because I can get an orbital and just run into enemies without worrying about my HP being compromised. So maybe I'm being uh, needlessly kind of 
about the whole run when we're actually in a pretty good spot. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. The Guardian, I think I, I've got a bias against it, but the bias is not based on uh, fiction. The bias is based on the fact that we've done this run before and, and had it ruined by bad things. But honestly, I'm primed to like some challenges more than the first times we did them, I think, based on the fact that I hate some of these challenges more than the first time I did them as well. So, you know... Turnabout is fair play. Oh, how the turntables, as they say. Now, good. You didn't walk into that. I appreciate it. Two keys has given us a, a range upgrade that couldn't be worth less, but there's our two keys back, so everything from this point onwards is just gravy, and this is really the value of Sackboy right here. It's allowing us to get uh, way more than we bargained for out of, out of way less. We can fly as well. I don't know why I'm neglecting to take advantage of that on, on a more regular basis. Yeah, I, I, I've I said this on the last two runs, on the last two Onan Streak runs, and probably on every challenge that we've done. You're probably getting a little sick of it, but I think we're good. <laughs> I think we got a good chance to win this one. Uh, this one even more so because it only goes to Mom's Heart. As far as I'm concerned, we're like, you know, a couple Emperor cards away from an easy victory here. Hey, would you mind uh, just staying close to me? Like, I'm trying to... Skirt the line between uh, protecting you, but also like actively seeking out enemies so they have no chance to knock you down. This was one of the, knock your HP down I should say, but this is one of the cooler challenges in terms of like design. It's nice to revisit it, you know, a couple of years later and uh, remind ourselves that. See like, if you don't actively go out and seek them before they get to you, they're just gonna get to you anyway. It's not like you win by just waiting for them to get there. Um, like, especially here, we gotta take out this portal. Would it kill you to dodge? I'm trying not to be ungrateful here, but... You know, when a shot comes in... I don't even say an actively dodge. Just move. Maybe we're not quite as well protected as I had originally assumed. But you know what? That's just gonna make it all the more interesting as we continue to move along here. Still got the sun card. More looking for like a nine lives sort of guppy-ish situation here. Because I think our end game probably has something to do. No red hearts. Our end game probably has something to do with, uh, well, that's fine. Just killing every enemy in a room before we uh, ever have to deal with any of the enemies on the room. But we'll see if that, uh, if that pipe dream has any chance to become real as we continue to progress here. Making good time, but we're making good time on every single one of these runs, so it's not really like uh that's not a revelation, 2012 or otherwise. That's re-rollable. And nothing else here is, so. Right, 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 we're protecting this guy. My bad. Tears down. Something's wrong. Neither of those are really good. HP upgrade is very good and also, you know, gives us the added advantage of having... Uh, more value out of our sun card here, which we will go back for thusly. Not a second secret room. 48 hour energy. Lovely item. Plenty of flies. Eh, I mean, we're, we're doing okay. I do think I, I took a lot of damage that I'm a little disappointed with there. You know what would be big for us is BFF. And, you know, pun not intended, but sure, I'll take it. Um... I want BFF because, again, if our orbital could actually kill enemies before they have any chance to do anything, then as far as I'm concerned, like, we're, we're gravy. We're golden. We're gravy is not the way that expression works. Yeah. Too low thinking we local? Come on, homie, we gravy. We gravy? Come on, homie, we gravy. We gravy. On these rooms, obviously, it's working out, but, you know, it, it's really up to the enemies at this point. Please get away. Um, if the enemy actively tracks down... The Guardian, we're in trouble. Like, these fires could cause big problems. The lump of coal, by the way, I'm assuming is totally useless here. Um, if they don't actively seek the enemy, we can usually kill them before they have any chance to get to us. But straight up, on some of these rooms, I actually feel like we have no chance. With, with the current equipment that we've got, just kick it right into them. Smart play. At least we didn't take damage, but it looked like we would. Like, this room, I think we just gotta... Try to get a little lucky. Anytime we don't take damage on a room where enemies can can hit us from afar, um, we gotta just say thank you, basically. So I think we do get rid of Guppy's uh, 
Guppy's head here in favor of Satanic Bible. We got Bookworm, which is irrelevant, but um, we're kind of in a race against time. And how do we give ourselves more time? Well, we give ourselves more HP. How do we give ourselves more HP? Satanic Bible. Uh, Guppy. Oh, maybe they're immune to bombs. I'm not. Nope, took damage for sure. <laughs> um, or not, actually. I'm not. I'm not fully convinced. Uh, but the uh, what am I trying to say here? The Sackboy pickup also is going to give us like a huge advantage here because it's probably going to give us more battery charges than we otherwise deserve. And as a result, I mean, you saw the payoff right there, but as a result, we should be able to uh, generate a ton of demon hearts. And these demon hearts are very valuable for us at accomplishing what we want. I think we will take chaos just to mess with it. And, and really, this is a big moment. I got in front of the bomb. I did what I could. No, no, no. Oh, I'm mad at myself that time. Can you just get away? Either way, Chaos plus like this restock machine here gives us an amazing chance of getting some items that we're actually very happy with. Guppy items, of course, are the big ones. I don't think we really care about that. We're almost at full HP when you consider the um, when you consider the uh, batteries that we left outside. So I'm not too worried about buying that stuff either. I'll definitely buy HP. Uh, I'll definitely buy this card again. I don't think the science does anything for us. So we're up to 99 bombs. That's looking great. We don't even need to go back for the battery chargers because we're so close to full HP. That half spirit heart, unlikely to make a difference. If it does, we're in uh, we're in the danger zone as is. And now, uh, deals with the devil certainly mean a lot less, but I'd still like them. Compass is great. I really... I think we're set. Oh, I got rid of the sun card. Dang it. In spite of all that, though, I think we're in a very, very good spot. I don't think we need Guppy, but nine lives might be nice because it will also still preserve our spirit hearts. We're kind of like... We've got a ton of momentum right now. And I kind of needed this because I, I still love playing Isaac. The reason this series is around is because I love playing it. Um, it's like a sheer force of will at this point, Guppy, please. Uh, but, like, I'll level with you. All right, we don't take damage because of, uh, because of the Isaac's heart there. Uh, I do view the challenges, not all of them, some of them I quite like, but some of the challenges I definitely view as, like, a necessary evil. Like, we've got to complete this challenge in order to, uh, go back to my favorite part of the game, which is playing it with everything unlocked. And you might say you don't have to play it. Like, you don't have to do the challenges. But I, I like to have the full experience. So I like to have everything unlocked. And truth be told, doing all these once is not really a big deal. It's not like a, a crime against humanity. Um, but I was waiting. I, I felt like we've had disproportionately poor luck for a while as we've been trying to do these. This one, on the other hand, has been very, very good for quite some time. So uh, I... Well, it acquiesce that this is a much better situation to find ourselves in here. We also only have to go to uh, to Mom's heart, so there's definitely no reason to get overly uh, cute with this, dude. That made my motion sickness trigger like crazy there. <laughs> Anyone else experienced that? It was like the whole camera. It felt to me like it was tilting there, but just something about the way the camera scrolls on big rooms gets me uh, gets me sometimes. It just gets me, you know? Thank you for not paying out exactly yet. Almost blew that one a little bit. Uh, I kind of wanted that red heart, but... You know, more power to you. We got two luck. Not bad. No payout. Perks is fine. You're, I mean, we could give you bombs. But, I, wait a minute. You didn't take damage from that, though. What's up with that? It's like I'm being lied to. All this time. Puberty. You know what? Take the... Now we're... No, no, no. We're still paying. I don't know, dude. Creative Cloud. Now's not the time. I don't need an update. Because I paid for your software. You don't need to... You don't need to harangue me into this. I pay for your software monthly. I know you're trying to... The update should be on my leisure. I'm not an enterprise user is what I'm trying to say. 
I've never even rented a car. Yeah, while you're dealing with one of them, the other one's just gonna come and poop on you, I guess. Uh, yep, I, it, there's nothing you can do except get in there faster, so... Joke's on me, I guess. Uh, eh, we can still have problems here. Let's go in here, pop the devil card. We didn't get as much out of the demon judgment as... I was. See, what can you do? If... <laughs> the foot just fell on him because he walked into a location. Uh, sure, I'll take it, thank you. That the foot could fall on. It irritates me, dude. Uh, I think it's probably worth grabbing infamy on the off chance that it it works here which uh, to be honest with you I'm not convinced of uh, but either way this one might be coming through in the clutch two guppy items please I'll I'll do it the reasoning is that we have 99 bombs already I am <laughs> I really just wanted to see what the bombs look like, and I didn't expect him to stand there. It's my... It's my bad. I'm... Oh, is this what it's like to play with Mathis? So we have these homing bombs, but now that I think about it, we can't really afford to use them, because we can't guarantee that... In fact, it seems like quite the opposite. It seems like the Guardian, for whatever reason, just wants to go into the... Uh, into the path of the bombs, wherever they may be. So... Big ups to you, being the ultimate jerk. We're very lucky that as of yet we've managed to kind of maintain an equilibrium because we're taking wicked damage. That's more of my ideal room type right here. and This fits the bill as well. One away, I think, from the... Uh... Yep. Yep. One away from... Uh... Me baby. One away. One away from the boss room. One away. I don't think infamy works the way I wanted it to here. You know what? Maybe we should have done the small room there. Oh no, you think? Oh. You're, you're crushing my dreams. I'm trying so hard. I got, I got the run completely tailored. You are going to walk on every spike. I can see it. You, you're actually going to take pleasure in walking on the spikes. I see it in your eyes. I am no longer confident, like, at all that we have any chance. But we did get HP, and we did get damage. Does the damage do anything? No! But all we really need to do is make it, like, a few rooms into this run. If we make it a few rooms into this run... Just walk away, please. Uh, we can start to get our trajectory handled again here. Uh, with with respect to our demon heart. Like, we just need a, a good sack boy payout or something. Ten bombs, thank you so much. Really, exactly what I needed. How did you know? What do you get for the man who has everything? Oh, well, well something he's already got. Wrong answer! Wrong answer, Susan. What are you doing, Susan? Buying bad gifts. You will not get to him. If you want him, come and claim him. That being said, we are eating it right now. It's because the Guardian Spear freaking sucks, man. Doesn't do enough damage to have any reasonable chance to defend this awful creature that we've been saddled with. Oh, well, it's a pretty linear ride to the finish here. Oh, my actual Lanta. Oh, my actual Lanta. Cool, give me... I really would have preferred the red heart if you're just going to give me a spider. Not that I'm like that displeased with it. Ha ha ha. Come on, though. No, you had your chance. There's more HP for us thanks to puberty as well. Um, you had your chance, Dark Bum, and you blew it. Out of sight, out of mind. I, I made these lyrics up. These are not the lyrics to Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. But, uh... Since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. I mean, at that point, it kind of falls apart under advanced scrutiny, I suppose. Oh, yeah, just walk over to... Why wouldn't you walk over to this guy instead? Yeah, okay, bait me away from that one, and then, yeah, okay, every... You're like Baby Groot or something. Just F off. You're, you're taking aggro 
from every enemy. I protect you from one enemy, you go take aggro from the other one. You know, it's one of the better design challenges in the game. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh yeah, laser beams, probably the easiest thing to defend uh, an enemy from. A shot that, oh, just goes through your body. Okay, we actually did something genius there. I, at this point, I just pay a room tax. Once per room, you're gonna get hit. Sooner you uh, come to accept that, the better, I suppose. Algis? Algis! I don't even know if that is going to protect our, uh, our Isaac's heart here, but I'm obviously, like, hoping. We're taking the hobbits to Isaac's heart. Blocked, son! Nah, there's a, there's a proper play here. And if we do the play, if we do the proper play properly, then we are going to get the win, because you get that. Oh, the places we have gone. Don't walk there, please. All right. You've done a good job. Pop algae. Does it protect Isaac's heart? I mean, I've got no shield around myself, so... I think it does protect Isaac's heart. We got pretty lucky there. This is definitely, like, on the shorter side as far as videos go. But it's with good reason. We're gonna do a, uh, another run after... Like, not in this video, but we're going to do, like, a refresh run after this. And then we might actually make a second pass in some of the challenges we've already done. We got Blank Rune, which is a very good pickup. I'm happy with that. But, yeah, um, annoying. Annoying run towards the end. I'm looking forward to doing, like, a vanilla run next. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Sorry, it's a little bit on the shorter side. But we're semi-free of the challenges to do what we want any old time. For now, thanks for watching again. And I'll see you next time.